Hello, I am back with another cookbook review. This time it is Melly's Berg. You may have heard of her. She regularly goes on uh, this morning. I bought her first book and I absolutely loved it. Um, a lot of the recipes are sort of what I'm familiar with. So yeah, it's just nice to see how someone else does it. Like I do meatballs, but it was, yeah, it's, she does it a slightly different. They taste just as good. But yeah, it's, you know, I just love a cookbook. Um, but this is her latest one. I pre-ordered it a few months ago and it came in June. Um, so as like I did with my last cookbook review, I've tested a, well, I've tested something and I'm going to test something else another day because I won't have time to do it all today. But a bit about the book. So she's at this time round, which something that I like, she's put like quick, she's done Friday fake away. Love that because, you know, takeaways are so expensive now. So I'm loving the Friday fake away section and easy midweek suppers. So she never had these in her last book. Again, I'm a full-time working mum, so easy midweek suppers is great. Got some lovely pictures and the recipes are really easy to follow. She even does like alternatives, like if you're gluten-free, she says what to put instead. Yeah, well done, Millie's. Another lovely book. So the first thing, I made this, uh, what's wrong with me today? I made these this morning. These are the Pilar Vona muffins here's one i made earlier so pilaf on that is basically it's normally in a triangle shape and it's just a mixture of sultanas um cheese basically sultanas and cheese but we use halim um which is halloumi uh, mint and like cheddar so it's a mixture and it's normally in a triangle shape now we'll see it's not that it's difficult, but it's time consuming. So these are a lot quicker to make. Like I say, I was made these in an hour. So I'm gonna open one up just to show you. Let's, um, ooh, which one to go for? All right, let's just go for this one. So I've just done them in a muffin. So you can see the sultanas in there. I did a few, less sultanas just because I'm not a big lover of raisins and sultanas. I don't mind a few but hmm that is very nice. I um, would imagine if that was warm with a cup of tea it'd be even better. It's still got the pillow of an art taste. Um, I would probably put more cheese, less sultanas, but that's what I love about recipes. You can change them and make them your own. But it's got a lovely taste. They were quick, easy to make. If you've got guests coming, you can freeze them. And yeah, if you haven't got time, like me, but you love pillow of us and you love anything like that, that's time consuming. This is a great alternative. Mm, I just got a chunk of halloumi. And would I do it again? Yes. And that's why it gets seven out of 10. Hi guys. So, I'm back. It's the next day. I have made a dinner from Melissa's book. So, second recipe I've tried is, I've done the spiced mince and rice. It, I have to admit, I didn't have pomegranate, so it doesn't quite look the same. I think the red really like brings it brings it out the colour. So mine doesn't look the same, but you know, here goes. I'm gonna show you. Um, don't know where I'm gonna show you. There's so much stuff here on the side. Right, here goes. But of course, it's all about the taste. So let's try it. To be honest, I have made this rice before. Oh no, my battery's gonna die. Let's quickly try it before my battery dies. 
It goes. Very nice, simple, flavorful, very nice. And it was really quick and easy. Very quick and easy dinner. Um, hmm, what would I rate that? Eight out of 10. If I had the pomegranate on it, I think it'd be even better. What section is this under? Oh, Friday fake away. There you go. I'm kind of, kind of getting fake away vibes from it. Hey guys, highly recommend this one. The final recipe out of the book that I've done is this one here. Wait, the one pot spiced minced linguine, I think it is. Basically, it's a spaghetti bolognese, so. Yeah. Yeah, so I just need to put some grated lim on it. Okay, it looks a bit, little bit more like hers now. Yeah, it's basically like a spaghetti bolognese, but she puts the pasta in, which is something I've never done before. I always cook it separate. She puts the pasta in, like, hold on. Sauce. <laughs> Pardon you. Um, <laughs> you fizzy drink. Um, yeah, she puts it in raw which I've never done before it's quite clever and it cooks it actually cooks really quick so yeah everyone's got a different way of doing things haven't they and then I'm gonna just finish that off with some mint that's hers it's mine hers it took me about um I did the mints and everything this morning obviously cooking down the onions and all that takes the longest but yeah coming up coming home I just warmed it up then put the water in so obviously the water's gonna cook the pasta and then I'll put the dry pasta in. So that took about 20 minutes. So yeah, really quick and easy. It's all about the taste though. So I'm just gonna um, have a taste. What does this come under? Oh, easy midweek suppers. It is easy, it, that's true, it is easy. And it is probably something you could do midweek. I probably wouldn't. Oh, would I? Yeah, I probably would actually. Because all in all, it probably took no longer than an hour to make. And it's very tasty, but yeah, it's basically like a spaghetti bolognese, like with a Mediterranean twist on it. But it's very nice, I highly recommend. I didn't use the linguine because she says you can substitute with spaghetti. Obviously the kids love spaghetti, so I mean it probably tastes, I don't know, does it taste the same? I just use spaghetti. Um, but yeah, it's very good. So I'm gonna sit down and enjoy this now. Anyway guys, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this cookbook review video. I enjoy doing them and I love trying out new recipe books and trying the recipes out. So even better that I get to share it with you. So I hope you found it um, useful. And yeah, guys, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.